Center Health. Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Dominguez here. Happy Thursday. We're so close to the weekend. Uh, we'll see some increase in that cloud coverage for today before warmer conditions arrive into the later parts of this afternoon. Again, though, those mild conditions will remain. Those sunny skies will not like how we've been seeing recently. It'll be a little bit different for today before we track showers off and on into Friday and the weekend ahead. So today's your last chance to uh, do some of those last minute errands that require being outside. At least tomorrow will be dry for the most part as well, but there will be a few showers as well. For right now though, tracking clear skies to start with those temperatures off to the low to mid 40s for most of us. We're around 45 here in Bowling Green, 42 in Greenville, 45 in parts of E-Town. As we continue through our morning commute, skies will start to see uh, more cloud coverage, especially into the afternoon. Temperatures by lunchtime will be in those mid 70s before we hit those highs near 80. And then by this evening or the early parts of this evening will start to fall to those 70s and 60s. By then we'll see a very small shot at a shower or two, though most of us will stay dry as you can see. Well, that's going to change as we head closer to the weekend Friday. Actually, most of us dry there with more sunshine in store for us, but we could see one or two more showers, especially into the afternoon. Now I did say we're tracking the potential for storms Saturday night into early Sunday, so uh, we're finding Finally seeing that marginal threat for some of those strong storms to occur. Unfortunately, um, yes, there is potential there, but the good news is, is that threat is very, very low. Right now, the biggest threat will be those heavy downpours and those isolated strong winds. But as you can see, the biggest risk will actually stay to our west as of right now. So we're keeping a close eye on this. But St. Louis, Memphis um, and parts of Louisiana will be under the gun when it comes to Saturday night for us. Uh, we're keeping an eye on that, but of course uh, we cannot let our guard down. Here's a full look at that seven day forecast. A couple of stray showers once again possible for tonight. Otherwise, though, you can expect a few isolated showers into Friday, though I do think actually most of us will stay dry and then those rain chances will really start to ramp up mainly Saturday evening into early Sunday. By then you can expect those temperatures to take a tumble into those mid 60s with breezy winds following into parts of Monday. By then will be mostly sunny and a bit cooler with those highs staying in the 60s before we climb back up to the mid and upper 70s Tuesday and Wednesday.